Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Susanna and I have a really fun video for you guys today. I am going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day. These recipes are pretty healthy. I try to eat healthy and take care of my body, but at the same time, these recipes are also fast. I don't take a whole lot of time cooking and putting them together because you guys, I'm sure you can relate. I am busy. I'm sure you guys are very busy. Everyone is busy. So the goal is to eat healthy and also eat things that taste good. I don't wanna just eat a hard boiled egg for lunch and call it good because first of all, I'm going to be starving the rest of the day. Second of all, uh, it's not that great. So I'm going to show you guys some fast, healthy meals that I like to throw together and basically what I eat in a day. If you guys enjoy this video, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. I do upload new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so stay tuned for those. Okay, you guys, so the past couple days, especially during quarantine, I've been making a lot of avocado toast and eggs. So that is what I've been eating for breakfast. It is just really delicious, and I have the most amazing recipe for it. So stay tuned. I have a couple seasonings that just really do the trick that most people would not think of to put on your avocado toast, and it just makes it spectacular. I am also going to add a side of eggs for some protein. Pretty simple recipe. I just make those the normal way. So I'll show y'all myself making my eggs my normal way. But guys, I will be honest. Usually when I am not in quarantine mode, a lot of times I will just eat like a bowl of cereal or a granola bar because I am usually rushing to get out of the door. So this has kind of been something special that I've been doing. I've been able to spend a little bit more time on breakfast, which has been kind of a luxury. So so let me show you guys what I have been making and how I make it. Okay, you guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is obviously take out a slice of bread. I usually like to use a multi-grain bread, so I'm going to lay that down on my cutting board. I'm gonna go ahead and slice that in half. Pretty self-explanatory. I am then going to toast it. I'm sure you guys totally did not see that coming. So I'm going to cut my avocado. Then we are going to scoop out the insides. We are getting past the very self-explanatory part very soon, you guys, I promise. Okay, you guys, so I really like to add a little bit of olive oil that was way too much you guys try not to add that much I also like to add a little bit of lemon juice but that is something that I do not have on hand right now so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper I feel like for every recipe this is kind of a necessity at least for me so again if you do want some extra tang I would highly recommend adding some lemon juice. It really just adds that extra special flavor that makes the avocado toast taste just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to continue just mixing this up. Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna really explain to you how I make my eggs because I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, so I will just put on some music and you guys can watch me quickly whipping those up. I am now going to add the avocado spread and then there are a couple special touches that I like to add to my avocado toast to make it even better. Ok 
Okay, you guys, so another one of my little secrets for some amazing avocado toast is the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Sesame Seasoning Blend. This just takes the avocado toast to a whole new level and makes it absolutely incredible. And I definitely like to apply a pretty generous amount of that. So not the healthiest option, but I do like adding a little bit of feta cheese to my avocado toast. I really just like the texture that it adds to it. I am really gonna only add just a little bit of the smaller crumbles, because honestly I'm going to be adding this to what I am going to be making for lunch, and so I don't wanna go too crazy with the feta cheese. Last but not least, we will add the eggs onto the plate, and then we have a complete breakfast, which is absolutely delicious. Um, I love having a little bit of carbs in my breakfast to help me fuel my body. So this is the complete breakfast. It is absolutely delicious, and I cannot wait to dig in. Okay, you guys, so I do apologize. I know I do not look the most glamorous right now, but because of quarantine, I was just wanting to feel a little more comfortable today. I'm sure all of you guys can relate right now. Please forgive me. Anyway, for lunch, I'm going to be making a candied pecan chicken salad. So the actual chicken salad portion, I will not be like putting together because I'm kind of lazy, at least when it comes to putting a lunch together because I want it to be fast. This chicken salad I got at the cutest little Arkansas market called the Bramble Market and it is fantastic but honestly any chicken salad store bought or your own recipe will work but I'm just going to show you how I put the entire thing together. There are many aspects that make up this entire salad and it is just absolutely delicious so I have been eating that a lot recently. So I am going to start out by adding just a spring mix to my bowl. It can really be whatever you want. It could be a mix, it could just be spinach, it could be kale. This is my favorite personally just because it has a mix of different leaves. So I will say that I do enjoy adding strawberries along with the blueberries that I'm about to add, although I am out of those. So if you have some of those, be sure to add them into this salad because it will just make it absolutely amazing. So I have washed my blueberries and now I'm going to mix those in with the salad. Next up, we are going to add some glazed pecans. I love the sweetness that these pecans add. I think it just adds the best flavor. And I do have a little bit of a sweet tooth. Okay, so guys, now we are breaking out the feta once again. I'm not going to add too much to the salad because I did have some in my breakfast, but I really do love feta when it comes to this salad. I think it just is absolutely delicious and mixes well with the crunch of the pecans. So now I'm going to be adding a balsamic vinaigrette. This is by Tess, Tessimes, Tessimes. Anyway, I love this balsamic. I think that it tastes so good. It comes out really fast. So I'm gonna try to not apply too much. Last but not least, I am going to take my chicken salad and I'm just going to scoop some onto the top of my This is the result and this is my lunch. We have some greens as well as some protein. Okay, so walking back into my kitchen, honestly y'all, I am craving pizza. So this crust is my attempt at making the most healthy pizza possible. This pizza crust is from Trader Joe's. It is the cauliflower pizza crust. Honestly, you guys, this pizza crust is amazing and it's gluten-free. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy into the oven and cook it according to the directions. And then I will take it out and show you guys all of the extra special toppings that I put on top of it to complete it. Okay, you guys, so my pizza is good to go. I'm going to start out by putting some of this Trader Joe's pizza sauce onto the pizza. So before I put on any other toppings, I'm going to add a couple seasonings to the pizza sauce. So I'm adding just a little bit of salt. We're going to do a little bit of oregano. We're going to do some pepper and some basil. And again, this is my variation of a margarita pizza, so I know it's not totally exact. So now I'm going to take this Trader Joe's shredded three cheese blend. 
And y'all, I am only gonna put a little bit of this on my pizza. So honestly, I don't think I wanna go too crazy with the cheese. I am going to go in with some of this fresh mozzarella cheese and I'm gonna take some of these mozzarella balls and break them up and these are really good because they are marinating and so I'm only gonna use like two of these marinara balls. Therefore keeping it a little bit lower calorie. So now I'm going to spread some fresh basil on my pizza. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it back into the oven for about four more minutes and then I will show you guys the final result. Honey, do not go near that, Missy. Ah, I am so excited. My pizza is finally ready. So here's the solution, y'all, to being able to healthily eat pizza throughout the week. Huh? Huh? Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, once again, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Also, if you have any videos that you would like to see from me, please comment below and tell me your ideas because I really do wanna cater my content towards you guys. So let me know below. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys again on Tuesday. Bye, guys.